any kind of music appropriate for a Friday. For a Friday morning. For a Friday yeah, morning. On Anderson's. On Anderson's TV. Where? And welcome to another episode uh, where today we are going to talk about a product called the Audient Sono. Bit like Bono, but with less but with B. S. But with less B and more S. Um, now, Pete and I don't normally do uh, interface demonstrations. No, so this is quite interesting, actually, mm. I think. And we don't normally use uh, such things as a laptop yes. to play our compute, uh, um, guitar into. Shall I tell you why? Tell me why. Because I don't like them. <laughs> well, I don't like technology. I don't like digital things. I just like normal guitar stuff. So the challenge today and is iPhones. can Audient bridge somehow that uh, not bridge is the right, you know, get me over my technophobia of not liking things. Um, well, it's so simple enough. What it's do we know about Audient? Personally, not very much. Okay, well, they're the guys that, <laughs> you know, they've been around for a long time, 20 odd years. They make the big, big consoles that you see in all the famous studios. Uh, they are, and th their background into the interface world has been kind of taking the, the their preamp sort of uh, technology mm. or the, the, the sort of the preamp that goes in the really stupidly big expensive consoles and sort of putting it in uh, interfaces so they kind of position themselves as the, the sort of the more pro end of the interface world yeah what the sono is sono sono, sono? you say so sono? you say, say somato i say <laughs> somato anyway the, what the sono does uh what where the sono is its angle is it's a standalone interface with a valve preamp that you can route either the guitar input or one of the mic channels through. Uh, and it has uh, some cabinet emulation where they've collaborated with two notes. Which we know is excellent. Yes, you know. super duper. Yeah. So, and I think this is kind of a new category for, in, for interfaces, for home use, for practicing at home. It's got a line out here. Yeah. There's the uh, to an amp, which is quite interesting because you can record uh, the signal with all of this and you can record the dry DI signal, which is pretty cool. Two signals come into Logic or whatever, and then you can actually play that back out to here right. into your amp. And Presumably -amp it's, it. it's still recording the pedals that you've got on. But it's not, it'll give you a dry track where effectively yes. the cabinet choice and the microphone and the reverb stuff from here are. But let's say you, you, let's say you just want a completely clean signal. That signal you can actually send into your pedal board and then into your amp. Ah. I've done that as a long few as times. you've recorded it dry. Yeah, as long yeah. as it's a completely dry signal, yeah. you can actually put it into your pedals first and then into your amplifier and then back out again. Cool. And then you can tweak mm. like that. It's almost like doing a loop. So it's kind of aimed at guitar players more than you know, a broader spectrum of people that might yeah. want to make a lot of music is aimed more directly yeah. at guitar players, bass players. Um, there is DI in here, you can put a microphone yeah. into it and run it, with, you know, separate from this. But I think this is more aimed at guitar players. Yeah, definitely. And we're simple people. If you're a, we need re a simple. recording guitar player and you're perhaps used to using uh, plugins to get your guitar sound, you may be familiar with a scenario where if you've got a heavy duty, um, uh, mix going on. You yeah. use, you're using uh, lots of the, the CPU to process uh, effects across channels, blah, 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 blah. You may be familiar with a, a scenario where your guitar plugin begins to suffer from latency problems and it becomes very off putting to, to yeah. put uh, to play guitar when you haven't got that instant reaction. Yeah. So and head headroom, you know, when you when you dig in the guitar, sometimes it can't yeah. can't take it when you're putting it into a, to some interfaces. So in the Sono, um, all the guitar goodness, the DSP around the sound that you're hearing for the guitar, is processed from in here. Uh, so uh, it removes the load, if you like, on your computer's uh, CPU to do that processing. So mm. uh, you, you'll get that sort of latency-free mm. uh, playing. What it doesn't have are lots of guitar amp models in it. So it's not about buying this to sort of go, oh, where's my Mesa Boogie dual rectifier sound or anything like that. No. Think of it as like plugging into the front end of a good clean guitar preamp, valve driven clean guitar preamp. Got a valve in here, 12 yep. x 7 And then Tons use high voltage. pedals with it. So Pete's normal pedal board is on the floor down here. That's what we're gonna use. Um, and, or you could, uh, and then think of it as uh, a load of um, cabinets, different rooms that you can uh, use those cabinets in, different microphones that you can record with, yeah. and some fairly rudimentary 
uh, options with regards to mic placement um, and tone. Yeah, I would say. Yes, but simple. But it's very simple. simple. So it's, it's built up that you've got the audio interface on the top here, and then your kind of guitar preamp section yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, you can bypass the guitar amp section by using, for instance, a uh, Victory Kraken. Yeah, and run that straight in as a preamp, and then get maybe some higher gain tones. Because I don't think this is the this doesn't give you high gains from this unit. You have yeah. to have pedals. How much drive can we get with that with no pedals though? Um, so with the input here, you can actually drive the preamp valve um, and combine that with your sort with the hot and cold oh, okay. power. Uh, oh, I which see. Is the okay. power amp there? Right, 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 right. Uh, And then of course you can dial down the output, which yeah. comes into the into the in there behind. So if I if I take so now I'm driving it into mm -hmm. the thing. And there's this little thing that says signal, some good, good hot, hot, bad. bad. Is that the, that's how you want your wife, isn't it? Good, hot and bad. Good, hot, and then she gets bad yeah, at absolutely. the end. Sorry. I like they've got a little the center detente in there. Yeah, I've had enough. Yeah. <laughs> um, to be honest with you, it'll even work as completely standalone. So if you don't even want to plug it to your computer and yep. you just want to practice your guitar through some headphones or, or even, and I, I, hey, I have no idea whether this will take off in this category, but if you wanted to use it live, you absolutely could. Uh, you could uh, conceivably you know, plug a, a microphone in here, an acoustic, acoustic guitar, guitar in, in here, an electric guitar in here, have a little three-way mix and hey. Three ways know. are... I don't know if that's a, a thing, but it could be done. Three ways are great. So come on, Pete, let's... Uh, Just before we start, this is what you were talking about. Three caps, which you can load in your preset manager. When you click them, you can mm -hmm. see on the screen, they'll change and they'll change the, the, the cabinets and yeah. you can bypass that there. So it'll change the rooms. However you set that, you can save yeah. that here. So you don't need the computer. Coffee table, coffee table, coffee, coffee table. table. <laughs> Friday in headphones. Yeah, kids can't hear the kids. I'm just going to play my guitar. So let's start. That that little first bit that you heard of Pete playing was no pedals, um, just this and this. Uh, so let's start back there and just show you uh, straight out the box. This is your view. So you can see you've got your little rack of. Um, cabinet selections, uh, how hard you're gonna drive the power amp, uh, some tone controls, how far is the mic gonna be from the cabinet, which adds some Look, reverb in. It moving yeah, when I'm doing it. Kind of a contour control between a vintage and a modern tone and a little mix uh, unit down the bottom. Uh, over here, we've got three things we can change. We can scroll through different kinds of uh, environments. Basement, that's where I spend most of my time. So as you can see, we're scrolling through, uh, I think it's six different kinds of environments. Stuff like this has a tendency to expand over yeah. time as well as up. And you can stand in front of it and pretend you're actually playing yeah, you know, pretend in the you're there. Uh, then this cursor down here, we'll scroll through different amps. Yeah. What we've got here is um, uh, Audient have unlocked every single amplifier that you can buy. So I think there's something like, oh sorry, cab you can buy. So there's something like 300 odd cabs currently available to buy. But when you um, cabinet out the box, it comes with a, a smaller selection. I think it's like 20 or 30 that you get out the box. Um, you'll notice that, you know, as I'm scrolling through it, you've got this like little one second load up time. Uh, if that annoys you, store your favorite ones as the presets on the, uh, on the, the switch uh, box here yep. and it, it'll just literally instantly And you do that through. with that little switch Rooney there right. will send it to um, your to the presets you've selected on there. There's a sort of simpler way or not simpler there's a there's a, a better way if you like of seeing all your cabinet options if you use this menu at the top here. So if you know that you like 2x12 guitar sounds you can cut scroll scroll straight to there choose which one you want. I noticed there are some brands in here Jubilee that we've obviously Green. collaborated. Uh, Boogie, <laughs> Rev. Uh, There's some good ones as well, isn't it? That, that they sort of use Bogner. names that is kind of not the, um, that you have to guess what that is. Guess the name. Absolutely. So anyway, we'll pick one of those. I know uh, Silver 77 is like a Fendery thing. Oh, that's the one that was there already. 
you know, you probably just spotted there as well. There's bass cabinets as well, so bass players can use this just as much as guitar players. Um, when they finally turn up. When they finally turn up, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> um, and the last uh, cursor that you can see at the bottom here uh, scrolls through microphones. So as we load them up, Dynamic 57, Dynamic 421, Nightfall. Nightfall? Whatever's that? Anyway, so it's find a microphone on, that you like. You've got a selection of dynamic and condenser microphones. And as I said over here, you can uh, adjust the distance from the cab, but not the Let's position. Quickly, let um, I believe, from what the guys were saying, is that the position of the microphone on here, is, which is the two notes bit, is actually a combination of several different impulse responses from each cabinet merged into what they believe as like the optimum one. Yeah, um, they've done it, yeah, exactly. Which and, I and like, it's a bit like the universal audio thing, yeah. isn't it? Where instead of going, look, here's, Here's the option for you to basically just put the microphone yeah. in all the wrong places. Don't do that to guitar yeah, players. Yeah, it's, 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 like, it's just hit. don't. It's, it's like a professional has done it for you. Yeah. it's all fine. And let's demonstrate that with the close because it kind of reacts like a reverb. So I've turned I've turned to the okay. cathedral, which is the biggest sort of room thing. So this is a close. And if you take it as far away as possible. Oh wow! Like here just, we go. Just now I'm. Use that to sort of find a, an appropriate a nice, reverb sound yeah, for you, yeah. or of course you can just record this in and use a reverb from your door. Ex door. door. And, I, and, I, and uh, I like the contour from. Check this out. Yeah, Vincent's. I don't know what that's Look, really. It's Vincent's just a modern. It's just oh, it's really even changing the. It gets goes rusty. rusty to. That's cool, so, and, and that's kind of the that's kind of your your you know your your interface here. You can control bass, uh, mid, and treble on the top input, and you can control the uh, that's power that's like amp. the power amp drive, isn't yeah. it? So, so you can see that probably more likely to affect things like compression and sag, and just uh, the sag. general feel of it rather than necessarily you know traditional overdrive. So um, that's a clean sound going through a cab. So we're going to use. Um, some of the drive pedals that Pete's got on his board. What we might do is a gonna, yeah, roll a bit of the treble off by going back a bit more vintagey, and maybe find a cabinet that's... Um, uh, oh, that looks familiar, doesn't it? Oh, a two rock, but with two notes written on it. Uh, why don't we find something with a green back in it, or a cream back, because uh, we know we like those. So 212, we've got something with a cream back loaded, we've got green G12, backs here. Um, green backs, uh, 14. Lone Star's probably a good cab, Yeah, 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 we won't have cream Jub backs uh, in Jubilee it. Vintage 30, Jubilee Green. Egg Beater. Egg Beater? No idea what, what that, that is. Be? Egg Nater, but Egg Beater. Ah! Blue, <laughs> blue back. Excellent pun. Uh, excellent. Vintage third. I oh, know we just said vintage thirty. I can't see a cream back one. Although I bet you, if we read the manual, there would be a cream back one in What's here. What's the other one? Should we use green? Should we use green back closed? Yes, or that's, open. That's enough. Honestly. <laughs> what? Because earth got, is an egg yeah, in French. In oof. My God. Um, Has honestly. it got an egg expression input? <laughs> Anyway, that's from the JSS uh, post recently, wasn't it? It was. The, it was. Did the egg? It was. And I couldn't help myself. Is, I had to uh, put egg. Pete is available there. for bar mitzvahs and weddings. Any other thing where you want some terrible comedy? Yeah. Just <laughs> phone him up. Uh, what's this one like? Oh, I like that. It's got a little bit darker. Let's try the Dane. Keep, keep a load of bucket load of drive yeah, in, doesn't it? Yeah, once you put Try, the gain yeah. pedal in front of that.
lot of reverb on there. One of us is probably a bright... bit too much reverb. Day, oh. night, <laughs> and day, night. hell, morning. So try that in the middle more then. Let's just see what it does. Oh. It's a lot of control everywhere, isn't it? Well, you say that. I well, think, I think, they, it's I think they've got the balance about right here because it's like um, that's what I hate about most plugins. That it is just goes. this concept of like you know I, rem I remember as clever as some of that sort of positive grid stuff is. Yeah, it's like I don't want to be Pre worrying about what the bias of my power. power and, and you know, it's just like oh, I just want to let <laughs> like a sound and yeah. go. So um, I think there's a tendency for that in 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 software. Mm that is built into stuff like this these days where i think they they are trying to make it more mm. simple it's like mac simple. you don't need to see all the dll files or ddl files or only files you don't need you don't need to see that i just need to click yeah. that then it does this don't want to do much yeah i like files, the really. fact as well that it's kind of set up to be used with pedals that you're familiar with you know yeah so that's cool i mean you could probably put you know you could have something like a helix or, uh, or the little the yeah well, although again no, the, the, the little, not, the, not the helix of, helix but what the um you know helix. an emulsion effects thing that right. doesn't have amplifiers right, right, in right, it right yes you know what i mean uh, the helix uh effects effects yeah so yes. you just have an, something that is just effects but mm. a drive and a, some delays yeah, and some yeah, stuff yeah into here, yeah. awesome. You know what I mean? You get all your caps uh, and that. That's try, a great combination. Let's try some, different, makes perfect let's try some different pedals. This is a light speed. I'm going to go back to the, the Dane, but with way less gain on it. Just I want that. Less Dane I always think that's really hard to try and get that just crispy. I went into the crypt, you see. I, I can see that. Yeah, Looking yeah. for your mummy. hardest thing to get used to is when you go from playing guitar amplifiers to recording or to playing like this the hardest thing is getting used to listening to yes because you don't know what it's going to sound like till it's in the mix and yeah. all of that stuff and yeah. it's um i i would probably use headphones you know to just yeah. monitor but that's even the, worse yeah it's it's not easy is it but you know what's yeah. coming out of your amp but you still yeah even if you if you are doing this if you're in a studio session i always go into the room with the amps yes and i'll have it all cranked up really loud and it's too loud but and it's not good for you but i'll then have my headphones on with the track in i can so feel getting, right right so i get the track in there and then i can feel it you know so can you please stand out here by the mixing desk i was like then i need it really loud yeah and the bigger speakers you have i like to be in the room with yeah. the amps but you but can that, get used to it you can get used to I mean, it, it you know? again i i i I don't want to be that guy. But you that, are that, that guy. No, no, no. That, that sort of comes across <laughs> as sort of going, oh yeah, of course, because I've used all this kind of kit and recording. You know, yeah. I absolutely haven't. But as soon as somebody says, right, let's let's check out this new and and to be honest with you, it, Helix everything is in the. As soon as I hear something not through a guitar cabinet at a certain volume level with a certain feeling of yeah, no, I get, I, 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 I understand. I, I, you know, I, I I find it quite uninspiring. However, when you I do accept that when you hear the 
track when you play hear back it back, the thing, yeah. you end up going, yeah, it sounds great. It sounds, and it could, it sounds, and it sounds very much, yeah, it sounds, it sounds insane, very much like so it, you know. it's, it's not, it's a getting used it's to it's an inspiration it. thing and it's, it's a getting a, used to it i it's agree it's inspiration thing but i think a lot of a lot of players these days you know might be in their uh, house in their bedroom mm-hmm. and stuff and they don't want to go and do gigs oh, and they don't want big amps they completely. just want to be able to go click three times percent. and i've got something that's great and i'm i you know i'm, I'm at home and they don't need all the other stuff, uh, so you know. And this what? is a new category as well. I think I think this is a new category, and I think it's going to do well. I um, really do. I think if it was just um, a bit bigger, had a speaker in it, and a valve power amp, <laughs> you know, and was about this big with knobs on the front, I think. And you put it the, on if you put it on a two category, and, so, and, and this, that's this, the category. Is that what you? That's, that's what it that's is. The category. Trust me. <laughs> It's next, gonna catch it's on. Gonna catch it's on. The next big let's thing. Just, let's just let's let's focus on just some different. Let's just see what the different rooms and cabs and stuff. So if I if I keep you with that sort of Dane. Yeah. Uh, uh, take that somewhat. S- take that delay a little bit I've down. I've taken maybe. the delay. Oh, just, just the uh, delay. Yeah. It's a really low gain setting on the Dane. So yeah. you, you should. Love to live wouldn't there. That, be, that wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't Look that be cool? At that place, I wonder yeah. whose place that is. And right. that's it. Is that downstairs? You see what I mean? So you have maybe you have your wine cellar, your even better, yeah, swimming pool down here. Oh yeah. And you just you can watch the kids. Right. Uh, so and then let's just go through the different mics because that'll make a massive, massive uh, difference. Yeah, yeah. So. So it's all about finding the mic and the cab combination. That's nice. Yeah, that's a, that's just a about to say it. I mean, that's one of the mics that's my favourite. It's the Royer One Two One, which we doesn't have here. So if anybody is watching, uh, yeah, Royer, if you're watching, please can you donate a microphone to us, or if not, at cheap, least phone please. us up with a really cheap price. Unless you've got a second-hand one yeah, lying uh, around but, you. Uh, the, yeah. It's like I the, want a the, little bit longer reverb. Yes. This isn't the type of reverb that I think I would normally go. I think I would apply the reverb either from a pedal click, or... Try to click, uh, I'll turn this down, then click the reverb, see what happens. You can you combine. Just, you just choose. You can combine. This is true. Um, like a harvester. Let's go to the basement. Hmm? I'm guessing if you're recording as well, you're always going to put the reverb on as a as a after on. Yeah, no, 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 maybe, not necessarily. Maybe. Okay. You know, not necessarily. You'll probably find that you'll do some settings and you'll 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 yeah. You know, you'll make presets that you will use, and you know, so there's think, a lot of caps to go through. I think I mean, we've, I sh- I think we've shown that we've day. got some nice, uh, kind of clean guitar bluesy kind of sounds. Let's yeah. see if we can find something that's a little, I don't know, we'll try a bit heavier. Uh, we've got um, Angel, that must be, uh, I bet that's a Friedman, yeah. Turn the reverb up, please. Off, off, off. <laughs> I don't think the ribbon is the right mic for that. I Perhaps think not. I also have to remember a, a ribbon microphone is over, it's like 1200, 1500 mm. quid for one of those microphones. So, you know. So there 
there you go. Yeah. Um, I mean, this. I think this is a category we're going to see much more coming in as the, well, just like the uh, standalone this, interface yeah, that and you more can do aimed you directly at at guitar players, bass players. You know, um, there's always been stuff for vocalists. It's always mm -hmm. been aimed a lot of mm -hmm. you know that. But this, I think, is is it's going to happen, and I think well, people are interested in it. Cool. I don't think there's uh, an awful lot else to, to tell you. Uh, obviously, you can deep dive into the specs if you follow one of the links in the description below. Um, all that is left to tell you is that this is on sale now. It's about £400. Um, and yeah. yes, I could see myself, you know, going, OK, it didn't take us long to work out how to use it. Uh, no, it's simple. We never read the manual. We got a little five minute kind of this is, you know, do this, do that sort yeah. of demo before we started playing. And I think that's that's kind of cool. Yeah. Ooh. 48. There was somebody somebody thing. was saying, and it completely all went over my head, but it'll mean something to somebody. There's some sort of way of connecting things like ADATs to this or something and having way more inputs. <laughs> and stuff. I don't even know what that means. It's but like hey, you just glaze over yeah, and, and go for your phone while they're talking at you. <laughs> But anyway, so there you go. If, if you want to know more, as I said, I'll put a link in the description yeah. below. And there's um, also, they've done a video on um, on their own uh, website. Yeah, so go and check that out because it's, cool. it's a cool video. All right. Anyway, well, I've been the captain. And I've been Danish Pete. And we shall see you on an episode of Anderton's TV soon. Bye-bye.